My name is Andrew and I am not a luthier. Uh, so this is my entry into the great guitar build off. I am going to start off showing you my design process because that's actually where I'm most comfortable. And just to explain a little, I um, have a pre-made body that came from Facebook Marketplace. It was a project that was started by somebody else and unfinished. It um, has the look of a hollow body electric, but actually it's not. It's the F hole is fake and the body is solid and not chambered as far as I can tell. So uh, my process from this point is to try and take the body shape that I quite like and extract um, the curves and the design out of it in a way that pleases me. Um, I'm a designer by trade, so like I said, this is the area I'm most comfortable with. So I started out by extracting whatever information I could from the new body and the neck blank that came with it so that I could start to figure out what form my new guitar would take. I knew from the outset that I wanted a Gibson style scale length as that's what suits my fingers best and I wanted to see how that would um, work with this Strat style body as the offset on it is quite extreme compared to a, a standard Strat shape. So to that end I started measuring. Um, so my process was, I took a photo of the guitar on a regular white background. I have a piece of white MDF that I used for this and uh, took the photo of that in a, an app called Cam Scanner that then allows you to distort to the correct shape because photos are always distorted and essentially gives you a photocopy. I was then, then able to take that photo and drop it into Inkscape and trace it out.
to then drop it into my CAD package. In the CAD package, I basically uh, took the body shape and then applied um, the scale length that I want to use to it. And I want to use a 24.75 inch scale length. The next step for me was to figure out the size and shape of the headstock. Um, part of this was to I needed to have some accurately sized drawings of machine heads, so I found some, I think, Goto machine head drawings that I was able to copy. Um, I'm taking that as being broadly the same for most machine heads. I might be proved wrong at this point, but let's find out. Um, the ethos I went for is I know that headstocks are fairly difficult to design and it's usually about the proportions of them. And I was looking at the design of a PRS and the design of a Strat and a Les Paul and one thing that struck me is that the scale length is divisible into four sections. Um, for a 26.75 inch, 628mm um, scale length, that means that it's divisible into 157mm segments and it just so happens that the piece from the bridge to the uh, tail piece of the guitar is around about that and the size of a PRS headstock is proportionally about the same size so that was a good starting point for me to use that division of the scale length to give me my proportions. I then took a, um, a CAD drawing that I found of a PRS headstock because that's my preferred style and drop that in to give my own versions of it. Um, what I found is um, that the headstock that I originally drew and uh, the headstock that I originally drew was, it just felt a little bit stubby for the overall size. So what I ended up doing, because I had truncated it slightly to get rid of the pointiness of the PRS and rounded it off, so I ended up stretching the whole headstock just a little bit to allow me to fit the proportions again and that seems to work a lot better for me. Once I had the headstock drawn out, I was then able to take that whole shape and print it off and sketch over it. Because I wanted to take this fairly plain body and introduce some deep carves into it because I'd seen, um, Obviously in the last year I've watched a lot of Luthiery videos and some of the designs that have struck out to me have been obviously Crimson, Ben at Crimson Guitars, heavy carves on various of his guitars, um, but also um, the style of partial staining and carving that used by both Steve Walker Guitars and Tafty um, in their designs from last year's GGBO. So I wanted to incorporate some of that. I printed off the overarching shape and neck and headstock and I essentially sketched over them for an hour. And it, trying to basically draw out the shape because the shape as it stands doesn't feel comfortable. It feels offset slightly. Uh, it's obviously it's got a strat style shape to it but it feels offset and I wanted to take that and extract its natural curves if you will. So as you can see here I'm uh, designing the sweeps of the upper and lower bouts. I'm introducing um, a kind of an offset design overlay onto the strat body because it does feel like essentially it is a bit of an offset design that borrows from PRS and that borrows from um, Fender, 
So this was the, my thinking behind this. So I wanted the calves to be deep. I wanted them to go through the maple top and well into the oak backing. Um, I wanted the, them to be accentuated all the way around the body. So as you can see, um, there's the arm calf by the F hole. It's quite deep. Um, it's about as wide as I think this body would take. I would probably prefer it to be deeper, uh, wider, but um, didn't feel right to take it any further than it is. The upper bounties are heavily carved from the middle section, so I suspect that the um, comfort cut for me, substantial gut, will be um, impacting the carve on the front, but also because the upper bout is quite blocky, I really wanted to thin that out. Also, the lower bout is also quite blocky and I wanted to thin that out and there will be a fair amount of adjustment of the original shape as well, I think. Um, I do like the deep calves that PRSs have between the neck and the lower bout. So I've taken that idea and I've run with it. But uh, essentially there should be a, a calf that goes from the upper bout and flows across the neck and across the bridge, the neck pickup into the lower bout. And then the lower bout has a, a gentle calf that just touches the oak body, at the, the oak backing. And uh, there's a line of carving that sweeps through the existing tone and volume pot positions that have been um, already marked on the body and then this sweeps round in a kind of an offset shape to the tailpiece position. I then brought it back into um, my CAD package just to accurately draw out the lines. Once I was able to replicate those lines on the CAD package, I then exported it to Inkscape where I was able to produce something a little bit more visually pleasing. Um, by adding colour and tone and all of that and eventually was able to produce a style sheet as you can see here. One thing I should mention is the fake F-hole. As it serves no purpose I've decided to accentuate it making it a through body F-hole. In doing so I hope it may look a bit cool and act as a carrying handle. We shall see. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, do the like and subscribe thing, and I'll see you on the next video.